Right, here we go. Assuming we've got to find the right camera. Very good evening to everyone. This is the, uh, the BATC Thursday evening net. Uh, the list is up on the chat. Anyone else is welcome to join. If anyone else would like to join the net, just let me know on the, uh, on the chat and I will sort that out. So, um, quick, a quick good evening to, um, to uh, David, G6GZH, who's uh, watching tonight, and I think probably Tim is as well. Roger, G8HKN, I think will be watching, and, and anyone else who is. Uh, particularly like to, um, I don't know if uh, Mario, KD6ILO, uh, is watching, but if you are Mario, um, I got your emails, but only this morning. Because um, that that email address that you were using, I, I tend not to uh, check it very often. But I'll I will respond shortly. And uh, thanks for all your uh, for your kind comments there. A uh, quick note: uh, there's um, activity um, going on. All bands, uh, November the thirtieth, also uh, December the sixth and seventh. So. Uh, I might uh, might be able to get the uh, two meter gear going again after our interesting narrow band tests. Uh, I've got I've re, uh, renewed my NOV for two meters, so uh, it would appear the RSGB are doing that again. Good evening, Tim. You are watching indeed. Excellent. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Right. Well, first on the list is Martin G8KOE. Then we've got Mike G0MJW, who faded out a bit here. Oh, that's by the way, I don't. I don't think my dish has been blown around, but uh, unless the beacon is weaker than usual, it seems to be a bit low here today. I was out earlier uh, with uh, Tom's dish tweaking software, and uh, I've peaked it up as best as it'll go. Uh, we've also got Simon, GM0SCA, and, and the list is, is there on the, uh, on the chat. Um, something else I was going to mention. Oh, yeah, Martin. Uh, I've uh, I've had oh I told you just now didn't I, on the chat uh, thing anyway my my all star node I I got a new Raspberry Pi four the other day with a fan and uh, I've had to evict it from the upstairs spare room because Anne my wife can hear it uh, in the dead of night so the fan had to go so I'm back on an older Raspberry Pi with a big fat heat sink anyway with that irrelevance over uh, oh. Phil XDW's there. Good evening, Leighton Buzzard. Oh, and uh, hope to be stroke P on Saturday. Uh, Rob M0 DTS. That's good. Beacons M10 there, is it? Uh, let's have a... Sorry to delay things here, but let's have a quick look and see what it is here. What are you getting M10.8? I'm getting M7.1, Colin, so... Uh, there you go. Leighton Buzzard's online. So uh, if you want to join the net, uh, Phil, just let me know in the chat and I'll add you to the list. It'll be nice to see you again. Good evening, John, G7JTT. Still haven't moved, so need no TXRX still. Well, Martin's been uh, fiddling about with SRT, so um, you never know. Um, we might be able to stream you, even if you haven't moved by next week, uh, John. Right. So without further ado, other than say good evening to Ashley, GE8DPH. Oh, you can see the flowers. Good. Yeah, I put the flower illumination on uh, Ashley. We, we have uh, white roses this week, so uh, very pleasant. Right, G8KOE. Sorry about the delay, Martin. Round to you. G4FKK and the BATC net standing by. Right, let's just make sure we got uh, some audio and, uh, for uh, carrying on. Let's just make sure we yeah, okay. Well, um, All Star is, uh, is is working well. Um, so uh, we've got, uh, let's get a small screen, uh, 20 <laughs> connections at the moment. Um, my little screen is, uh, oh, I'm going to have to go to a, Put it on a bigger one. It's uh, getting difficult to fit. Anyway, just fitting. 
so we've got uh, 20 so now that that's all working it's uh, time to move on to uh, to something else I think um, oh, I've got my mouse trapped on the little screen and um, I can't get back to where I want to go it's it confusing because I'm looking at uh, let's go back to uh, such like um, I've been playing with some um, or trying to play with SRT a secure reliable transport um, like RTMP is it yeah but um, different now I'm having a clue what I'm doing really but so far I've worked out to transmit it from OBS to OBS which is easy and today from OBS to um, a Raspberry Pi um, if I have the Raspberry Pi I'm using is one I was using for uh, the um, 47572 but I've now repurposed it and it's now an SRT Raspberry Pi player that's it sitting there working and um, if we go over to the uh, left hand screen that's it up in the top here it's just using the camera side of things that's it actually doing its thing um, so uh, that's it there easy to set up um, quite amazed and they say it's free so um, what I'm using if we go over to the center screen um, oh, that's the pre you go download it now let's tell server that's the wrong one we want to go to the free bit don't we oh dear oh dear dear um, oh, I'm on the wrong SDR player that's the one I want sorry I'm not prepared download it now SDR Raspberry Pi player download it install it and a couple of little setups nothing very um, difficult and you're away all on a Raspberry Pi I'm using it on the Raspberry Pi 3 at the moment um, they say uh, up to Raspberry Pi 4 whether it'll go on a 5 I don't know but um, that I was, I'm quite impressed with I've got yet to do some it's all, okay it's only on my local network but I'm hoping to uh, expand and do some tests with other people that are interested perhaps even a uh, SQ even perhaps would like to put a an input on I'm sure they've got a space that they could get another Raspberry Pi and uh, graft it in there then I could uh, try streaming to it um, but uh, no it seems to work very well so far and my limited test it's only today that I've got it going um, so that's what I'm pushing now having for uh, experimentation and uh, see where we go um, I know the VK uh, boys use it and say that it's uh, um, the thing to use but I'm uh, in early days now VRC also uses it it has the capability but I can't work out how to set it up so um, if someone could uh, put me out of my misery and tell me how to use that uh, you go to tools um, and uh, you can search it from there um, if anybody's interested um, there is a uh, a nice video that explains what how, how it all works um, now I didn't not prepared I don't think no I didn't prepare it so let's see if I can find the uh, the link to it and I can put it up on the uh, the chat um, very unprepared really this time um, oh, that's the one I think that's the one let's make sure that it is let's get rid of the advert no that's the wrong one do you know what you can never find anything I'll put it up in a minute um, but there's one that explains it all with regards to ice cream and um, such like which uh, makes it very easy to understand um, and when, when you're trying to find things you never can so apologies there so anybody that's got information on SRT um, or has used it, played with it, understands it, knows what it's doing, 
I'd appreciate uh, all the help and anybody that's interested um, in giving it a go. Right, I think that's enough waffle from me and I'll try and find the link to the uh, the information and I'll stick it up on the chat if anybody wants to uh, to watch and understand it. I did send it to uh, Martin, who I think appreciated it, <laughs> but I can't find it myself now. Anyway, over to you then, Mike. I'll put a test card up and it's all yours. Um, and uh, Martin was four, D4.4 with me, MER of 7.8. So uh, you're a pretty good signal there, Martin, from G8 KOE. Right, hopefully you're seeing me, and there should be sound. I can see from the uh, spectrum that there's sound, so that's good. Thank you, Martin. Can't really help with uh, SRT at the moment, uh, but uh, interesting nevertheless. Um, so I've been uh, not on very much recently because of travel for work. Uh, so uh, I was in Paris last week, uh, so I couldn't join. Uh, can do it this week, but again next week it's our local club net, the first Thursday of the month. So I'll probably be away for that. Um, so anyway, we're getting towards Christmas, so <laughs> things are changing. Um, right, um, and the um, activity week, I think Rob, that you mentioned, um, be interested to know what bands you're planning to come on to. I know you're watching, even though if you don't transmit, so... Uh, that would be useful. I can set up 77s. Now, um, I thought I'd try and do something exciting. So I'm going to do a, a live unboxing. Um, you know, it seems to be the thing to do on YouTube, or at least it was a decade ago. So um, with that then, um, here is what I'm going to unbox. And I suppose I should show what it is on the, uh, on the other camera, uh, which is this camera. It ordered from the Pi Hut because, for some reason, Pi Moroni wanted to use two-factor authentication. I wasn't prepared to mess around with that, so I just, same price everywhere, I ordered it from the Pi Hut. So, there you go. Right, so, live unboxing. Is everyone excited? Hmm. Doesn't seem so, but then I'm not watching the chat. Let's see if I can actually get into the thing. Ugh. This might be a, a difficult live unboxing. Come on. There we go. Isn't that exciting? Um, right, okay. More seriously though. Um, let's go to the uh, wandering camera again. What it is, is it's a Pi Pico. Um, and it's the new version. Which came out earlier this week. was announced and everyone's got it. Um, which is uh, it's going to focus, yeah, it's got Wi-Fi. Um, I'm sure it's not supported with the uh, Pico Tuner yet. It might be, who knows, it's up to Dave, but uh, very cheap, £7. Um, maybe useful, maybe not. I thought I'd order one given the price. Okay, uh, now, just check the... Uh, Net. Okay, there's nothing else on the chat, so um, I've not got much else to say, so I'll pass it on to Simon, GM0SCA. Uh, get ready, Simon, if you're not ready already, G0MJW. G0MJW, GM0SCA. Thanks, Mike. Just uh, mute that and go back to there and do that. There we go. Well, thanks. Yes, I've uh, I've nothing exciting. I mean, that was that was really quite exciting seeing an unboxing. Um, I do enjoy those on YouTube. You've reminded me. I uh, <laughs> yeah, get see them uh, the enthusiasm. There's a guy called Brian Phillips who I'm sure Brian H of S will know. Um, does uh, reviews of radio control planes and so on. And um, he's really very enthusiastic. 
which is always good fun to watch. He has his wife doing, uh, I think he calls his wife camera crew. And it's always quite amusing watching him do the unboxing. Anyway, moving on. Um, not a huge amount to report. It was minus seven this morning. And uh, just talking to Martin KOE earlier, uh, it's, well, nowhere near that down south. But it's uh, it's currently about plus one, I think. I'm not expecting it to freeze tonight. But we did have some uh, quite horrendous winds, as I'm sure everybody else did over the weekend. And um, I was quite surprised to see that the dish is still... A, in one piece, and B, working, so uh, that's a bit of a delight. Um, I was hoping to see Richard, but I don't think he's he's on. I haven't seen his name on the list anyway, um, just to see how he's feeling. I hope he's feeling better after his um, uh, travel escapades, let's put it that way. And um, what else was on my list? Uh, oh, yes, and, uh, and Martin, I'll have a look at that SRT R pie. Um, Having got my All Star, which is uh, sitting here, it's um, currently working quite well. Thank you very much for your help. Um, so, having got that out of the way, it's um, that doesn't focus very well, does it? Never mind. Anyway, um, yes, having got that out of the way, I'm uh, I'm sort of kicking my heels, thinking, I wonder what else I could do. Uh, so, not a lot else. So, around to you, Brian G6HFS. Let me put my uh, test card up. G6HFS, GM0SCA in the BAT. Right, OK. Oh, a bit behind the times at the moment. But, uh, yeah, good evening all. No audio. Didn't hear that, sorry. Have I no audio? Oh! <laughs> oh, right. Monkey. Uh, I can say, I can see if the little thing's dancing up and down on the screen. Uh, put me off. Um, yeah, I had to give my little dish a tweet, but it's back up to uh, where it normally sits, just under 10. 9.9-ish, 9.8. Not bad for a 1.1 meter. But uh, yeah, been doing a little bits and pieces. Uh, tidied up the uh, USB stick on the All Star. Got second uh, node up on the dashboard. Got some bags, bits and pieces somewhere. Let's try this. So it's had a little tidy up. A few LEDs winking away. And boxed it up next. Got a bag of bits and pieces. It's a bit shiny that. Switches and controls. <laughs> That's the next thing for me to get on with. That's about uh, all I've been up to this last couple of uh, days. Been a bit uh, under the weather. Yep, hopefully that's getting better. Uh, not a lot else to report. Uh, I think Dave's on, which I think is next after me. I did send you an email with a funny picture. I've got text and uh, control buttons all at the same time. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that. All displayed at once. So, uh, from different menus, it was a bit weird. Perhaps you can uh, say something about that. Anyway, that's, that's all for me this evening. I'll only be coming on the once, as I still feel a bit under the weather. So I'll hand it round to Dave, GKQ from G6HFS.
G6HFS and the BATC net G8GKQ. Right, uh, very good evening all. Um, okay, Brian, yes, I did get your email. Um, I think I know what the problem is there. The, um, the file menu uh, is relatively new and I possibly haven't cleared, cleaned the screen properly before displaying it. So uh, I will uh, try and sort that out. I mean, it's nothing to worry about. It's just I haven't uh, cleaned up the screen before in between displaying a few things. Happens quite a lot in testing. <laughs> it's not supposed to make it through to production, though. So uh, that's where we are. Um, obviously, one of those uh, bugs where you have to go down a funny route to get to it, and then you find it. Uh Main activity this week, probably attending the uh, Midland Microwave Roundtable, along with a number of other club members. Really, a really good do. Um, John, uh, Heather, and uh, um, Paul did a really good job of putting it all on. Paul did all the organisation, and uh, John and Nikki did the hosting. Um, a really good do. Uh, had a bit of fun and games. Uh, Getting back because the A49 was flooded, as were a number of other roads. It took us two and a half hours to get out of Shropshire. But after that, the journey was okay. Uh, what happened at the uh, uh, microwave round table? There were four good lectures, actually. Um, especially one on um, somebody who's built up the VK122 gigs gear with a uh, Raspberry Pi and a touch screen. And made a really good job of it. Uh, really good uh, interface on it um, with lots of extra features like mapping and uh, path uh, path calculations and all sorts um, with a low RA backlink, um, which on that band is practical. So uh, re- really, really good. And the other lectures were all very interested in as well. Apart from that, it was just lots of people chatting and um, oh, there was a few bit of alcohol consumed as well here and there, um, but uh, a really good time. Um, I picked up some odds and ends. I was lucky enough to pick up a, a six-way switch, which will go in my analyzer. Um, that goes in part of the uh, um, tracking generator so that I... I know how I, I only need one socket on the front panel for uh, the six bands output of the trafficking generator. Uh, the other thing I've been doing with the um, spectrum analyzer is on the net about uh, six weeks ago, um, Benno suggested that rather than using a Raspberry Pi Pico for interfacing, I use an MCP23017 which is an I2C IC with uh, 14 inputs, two outputs, um, and use that for sensing. And I've implemented that and really impressed with it. Uh, wiring uh, Pi, which was uh, not support, has no, is no longer supported by Gordon, the guy who originally re- wrote it, is now supported by another uh um, software writer and works on the Raspberry Pi 5 so I'm using Raspberry uh, Wiring Pi to drive it uh, very successfully, very impressed with that uh, another little project I have is working on a stereo amplifier that my son delivered to me today to look at uh, the offending PCB is this little one which is all surface mount um, but with a 120 watt Class D amplifier on the back, you can just see the little IC on the back there with a heatsink pad on it. That'll do 120 watts in Class D. Um, needless to say, it's failed. So uh, that's what I'm uh, looking at. In answer to the uh, Pico Tuner question, I th- uh, it's um, Colin G. G4EML will tell you whether it's supported. I should imagine the 2W would would work using the code for the 2, but whether it does any Wi-Fi, I have no idea. Um, and Martin, good to see you, the experiments with SRT. Yeah, I, we've used um, we used SRT for the QSO part and seemed to work very well. Okay, 
my power is decreasing. I forgot to turn it up when I started. So I will now pass it round to uh, Colin. This will be my final over, so I won't come back next time. But uh, really good. Uh, G4KLB in the group. G8GKQ. G8 GKQ, G4 KLB. Okay, I'll find the volume control quick. There we go. <laughs> I got it this time. Okay, right. Welcome to the laboratory at GB3SQ. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, I've not been too well this these last few days, actually. Um, some dreaded leggy. Had... Yep, a blank screen. <laughs> I can see myself, so hopefully it's all right. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that, that's Mike on the All Star. Um, yeah, so it's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, this is unfortunately that. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I think the XYL has shrunk it. Because it's it's a bit shorter, <laughs> it's a bit shorter than I remember. But um, nonetheless, I I did wear one of these for a little while in the factory, <laughs> but <laughs> with the customary twiddle stick, obviously, um, often accompanied by a neon screwdriver. But I haven't got any of those left. <laughs> right, okay. Yes, well, I I did see a certain station. You know, all the best stations seem to be wearing them, so I figured I'd make the effort. And to demonstrate that I'm feeling a lot better. Um, yesterday I couldn't have come on air. It was it was a bit of a struggle, and uh, the day before as well, really. So that was, yeah, it was a bit was a bit rough. And uh, I think Brian knows all about it because he's still getting over it. But um, I've turned the corner, so to speak, and um, today has been immeasurably better, really immeasurably better i still haven't done anything but <laughs> but um no it's been yeah so much better god dear i'd had a headache for a week and it was like a sinusy headache was, anyway and enough 80 meter news <coughs> i haven't got much else to report really apart from that because obviously i've been um <laughs> laid low so to speak um so that's um, caused a few things so we we got through the storm all right I haven't realigned any dishes. I can see the TX seems to be exactly this where I left it. And the RX is still good, so no dishes have moved. Um, I did get back, um, because I was on night shift that, that particular week when it was happening. So that was that was a bit awkward. Oh, no, it's an early shift. Uh, early, there's a weekend. Yeah, this last one on the weekend. And, uh, yeah, um, it, was, it was dark when I left and dark when I come home, so... I just made made sure I could see the main aerials <laughs> were still present, not too worried about which direction they were pointing. <laughs> the fact they were still there was all I wanted. So I just did a quick perusal, check that aerials and dishes are still in situ, the fences are still there, good jobs are good and really, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't want too worried about that. But so apparently, I believe there's another one on the way, but it, um, I say doesn't perhaps doesn't go far enough ahead, but um, looks okay so far. So we shall see. Maybe not quite so nasty as that last one. I know other areas suffered w worse, particularly with the flooding, etc. I see we have got a flood warning, but uh, um, I don't think it's as, not as severe f for us around here. I don't think. So uh, yeah, we don't really like this time of year when you've when you've got areas up too high, which uh, most of us have. <laughs> It gets a little bit worrying. I mean, a dish you can sort of chain down a little bit, but uh, not quite so bad. But when you've got things, um, I think I'm a bit more cautious now. Since I have had a mast fold in half and come through the roof, um, that was uh, that was a big problem, and it was on a bank holiday too. But but um, that has made me twice as nervous as previously because up to then I'd never had anything come down but I had a I'd had a a, a tube fold in half which was uh, which had two 23 sem aerials and a collinear on it and uh, they did actually come through the roof and um, but I was grateful for that because 
they didn't go through next door's roof <laughs> that would have been 10 times worse um, but so they did decide to actually come through my roof they smashed the tiles and there's there's like elements sticking through <laughs> sticking through the felt but uh, but um, yeah I managed to I on free cycle I managed to find the right profile and almost the right color um, to able to enable me to uh, fix the the the, the hole um, in a timely manner um, during a bank holiday <laughs> so, so that was very good okay then that's probably enough from here so I think it's over to Michael now in fact I'm sure I know it is so over to you over to see what it's like been like in Spain EA7 KAR to take it G4 KLB Yeah, um, yeah. The, the, no, the weather's uh, the, we, we had rain recently. It's been pretty good actually, but not warm. It's cold uh, by our standards. I'm sure you'd find it warm. Um, but I went for a, a walk today, and uh, I put a big coat on and everything. You know, I was okay, but uh, it's not raining. No, so that that's that's fine. Uh, before I forget, Dave. Uh, that is, which Dave am I talking about? Um, I've forgotten your call, I know. K-O-E, uh, bloody hell. Ah. G-K-Q, that's the one, that Dave. Could you just repeat on the chat for me that the, the number of that I2C uh, chip you mentioned? That sounds really interesting, actually. I'm interested in that. And, uh, and then uh, for Colin... Uh, so, sorry for uh, I'm a, getting it all wrong tonight, aren't I? Uh, for Martin uh, K O E, uh, I just did a quick search on the internet, and uh, it can be done in FF Play apparently without having to recompile. But the the blog I read about FM MPEG, you do have to compile it with Lib SRT, which is a pain, and I'm sure nobody wants to do that. From what I understand, I've never tried it, but I, I, I've read that it's extremely difficult. But apparently, uh, FF Play will do it out of the box, so that's worth trying as well. Anyhow, um, I don't have much to say, but I am inspired by Mike GMW uh, because he did an unboxing. So I'm going to do the same. Right? I've got a box here. Came today. <laughs> What is it? Well, it rattles. Let's have a look inside and see what we've got. Uh, well, there's a, a bag of uh, screws. And then there's this big lump of metal. Get all the plastic out and everything. <coughs> yes, okay. Yes. It's beautiful. Problem is, it's a 10-inch rack mount. Because I've ordered the wrong size and I wanted the 19 inch size. But I'm tempted to keep it actually because it's really cute. And uh, you can get 10 inch racks, you know, small enough to put on your desktop, right? They don't come bigger than that. Um, and, it, you know, you could get a couple of Raspberry Pi sitting on that, for example. So if you're lashing something up and you're not ready to put it in a box and it's just a complete mess... You could prototype it just standing on one of these and keep it neat and tidy so uh, it doesn't fall over the floor. So I'm tempted, but of course the, uh, the, the rack boxes are quite pricey. But I have ordered a 19-inch cabinet. Um, they're actually cheaper than the 10-inch cabinets on my search anyhow. So why am I doing this? Well... I've run out of desk space again. I keep doing this. And uh, I need somewhere to put this stuff because I'm, I've mentioned it a, min a million times. I'm obsessed with building a repeater. Uh, and I'm writing my own software to control it. And it's going to take forever, believe me, because I'm learning more about the Go language uh, as I go. 
I'm getting better. Uh, and the stuff I wrote a couple of years ago, which is, I've, I've, I've kept it up to date with software updates. And, you know, every time they do an update, I have to change something. I, I've maintained it. And it, it's still working, of course. Uh, I'm talking on it now. Uh, but, you know, what... <laughs> I have to get. I have to do a search or read the manual on, on just about everything I do. It so it t- it takes a long time, but some bits now I'm beginning to be able to remember. So it, I guess it's all down to how often you do it, and of course I don't do it all the time. So I'm getting better. So I'm beginning to buy a few bits and pieces uh, in preparation for this repeater that I intend to build. Uh, Yes, I know, I'm stupid and mad. I've been in contact with the uh, the president of the Spanish radio club in Malaga. <clears throat> and at first he showed some interest and he said he'd go and talk to the club, but that was over a week ago now and he hadn't come back to me, so I guess there's no interest there whatsoever. I don't care, I'm going to do it anyhow. The problem is, though, if I did want to uh, get serious about it, and leave it switched on. You do have to be licensed for this. You know, you need a call sign, of course. And the only way you can do it in Spain, you can't do it as an individual. You've got to do it. it only associations, radio amateur associations. This is something you don't have in England, this concept of associations. Uh, but only an association can do it, can apply. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, in, in the north of England, for example, you, you won't know what I'm talking about, you people in the south, but there are things called working men's clubs or, or any kind of club, right? Any kind of club, maybe even a round table club. I don't know. But in Spain, it has to be registered as an association. That's the law. So it's more complicated. You know, there's all this bureaucracy. So I, I don't know where we'll go about that. Uh, well, I have a HDMI switcher and two USB. Well, that's from Phil. That's interesting. He's not talking to me, but I'm interested in the subject. Yeah, okay, so that's it from me. I'll have even less to say on the next round. Uh, so it's uh, over to James, uh, G0DQH from EA7KIR. I don't know if the gremlins have struck again, uh, James. G0 DQH. Um, so what I'm going to do, in the absence of any signal from you, I'll put it round to uh, Paul, G7 EWS, and uh, if, if you are intending to come on, or if you've got rid of the gremlins, uh, James, just let me know on the chat and we'll, uh, we'll fit you in as, a, as appropriate. Yeah, no, I, I knew you were one over only, Brian. Thank you for that. Right, so let's try Paul. G7, Echo Whiskey Sierra, G4 Fox King King, standing by. From uh, G4 FKK. Yeah. Uh, I hope you can hear me okay. Um, I've turned the audio up, as last week it was a bit quiet. It sounded a bit noisy then, so I've turned it down such. Um, all right, good evening all. Glad everyone's okay. Um, not a lot to add this end um, good to hear that no one's had any dramas with antennas or dishes but uh, me on the other hand I did um, transmit dish got blown completely out of whack and I've got that back as good as I can um, but received dish uh, got torn from its fixings ended up on the ground and if you can see that was what the edge of it looked like and it, it bent the uh, top of the dish over as well so I spent um, all day yesterday with the hammer and dollies bending that back into place and hammering it straight put it all back up and it actually seems better than it was before on the beacon I get that about a dB extra signal now so um, it's probably done it some good by the looks of it um, anyway that's all from me so um, I'll say 73 for now and I won't come on for a second over I'm just going to listen to the end and so I'll pass it back to Martin G4FKK unless um, James has sorted his issues out and he's going to 
come on after me. Um, anyway, G7 EWS in the net and over to Well, I left a gap there, but uh, nothing seen from James. So, uh, and nothing on the chat either. So hopefully, um, hopefully James isn't completely uh, thwarted this evening. It's funny, why isn't uh, Winter Hill wasn't getting me, but now it is. Good. Okay, well, um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear about your... Uh, your dishes, Paul. At least the transmit one uh, wasn't too damaged. I, I suspect mine may have moved, although, as I said, I was out earlier with um, Tom's dish tweaking app on the phone, and um, I couldn't get in any better, so uh, maybe something else has happened. It's probably about time I changed its uh, Iceland bag, Mike. <laughs> It's been on for well over a year now, I think. So uh, there you go. Um, yes, interesting on the SRT player there, uh, Martin. I might try and uh, now I have a uh, now I have a spare Raspberry Pi four. I might give that a whirl at some point. Um, I get the same, Martin. Oh. So, J James, you, you didn't come on on your slot. Are, are you still intending to transmit this evening, James? Just just let me know on the chat. And if you say yes, I'll put it round to you next. Otherwise, uh, we'll go on to the second round, as it were. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I, I might give that a whirl, Martin. That'll be good. Yeah, very exciting uh, live unpacking there. Uh, un I can't really call it unboxing, really. It was, wasn't in a box, Mike. So, um, yeah, it'd be nice if you could get the Wi-Fi one going. OK, James, I'll, I'll put it round to you in a sec. Um, and, um, OK, about the SC1633. No, that's, that's what the Pi Pico code is, isn't it? <laughs> um, sorry to hear it was minus seven degrees up there... Uh, uh, Simon in uh, in Scotland. It was it was below zero um, here for a couple of days. In fact, we had a very hard frost this morning, which is uh, well, when I last looked in the afternoon, was still uh, still all over the lawn. So uh, it's been a bit pokey down here, but nice and sunny. Um, and um, okay, about getting. A an MER of 10 on your 1.1 metre dish, uh, Brian. Well, it just proves I really have to use, I have to do something about mine, because mine's a 1.1 metre dish, and I'm getting just over 7 uh, at the moment. Um, a quick thanks to uh, Dave and Noel and all the others that uh, attended the uh, microwave roundtable, and um, quite a bit of uh, BATC stuff was... Uh, exchanged for beer vouchers and um, I think we even managed to get an, a new member so uh, that was uh, that was good work Dave and uh, I know Noel was up there as well and uh, okay about the class D audio amp I've got a uh, a similar device in the shack here which my uh, sister uses as fold back for her her band that she's in up in Scotland but I think that one's beyond hope it's um got a switch mode power supply in it naturally and this uh it's a 150 watt or 100 watt no 150 watt chip in it and uh, the switch mode power supply is uh not working uh the amp as far as i can tell isn't working either even if the switch mode power supply was working and because uh, it's made by a firm i won't mention them actually but, but they're well known for uh pirating other people's rather good audio circuitry and repackaging it uh, exceptionally cheaply. Well, the uh, most of the the power supply gubbins is in a um, plastic box with um, filled with a sticky tar-like substance. So I'm not going in there. 
Uh, yeah, n- not quad, Mike. <laughs> And you're quite right, James, you can't beat a good linear power supply, but you probably wouldn't be able to fit it in. It's um, it's a 150-watt stage monitor. Let me just get it. Hang on. There it is. And it's in a very tiny box. There you go. So it looks the business. I believe Mackie do a, sim- a very similar-looking one. Oh, well, you've probably seen who it's made by now. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, but that one's uh, the, the Mackie is uh, I think possibly the original and not as cheap as that one anyway they're good when they work evidently um, uh, Colin I ought to uh, I ought to try and book you in some um, some voiceover work you were sounding uh, exceptionally voiceoverish at one point during your over and uh, but I'm sorry you've had to uh, suffer to uh, generate the mellifluous tones that we were getting earlier. So I say I hope you're uh, well over that. And I was horrified to hear about that mast when an aerial was coming through your roof in days gone by. I've uh, I've got a crank up tower at the bottom of the garden, and I always forget to wind it down. But uh, luckily, touch wood, it seems to have survived the uh, the recent uh, hurricane force winds um this is terrible i can't read my writing i can't even see the page oh yes um your unboxing there michael with the 10 inch uh, rack <laughs> excellent uh, that'd be quite handy in a shack wouldn't it a 10 inch rack system but as you say they, they do seem to be much more expensive than uh, 19 inch ones i'm gonna have to get a 19 inch one uh, for the workshop but um I'm hoping to get some X equipment from my uh, previous employer to uh, to do that. And uh, yeah, interesting on the uh, Spanish regulations about uh, having to be an association before you can stick a repeater up. Unlike here, which seems these days, as long as it's not overpowered, you can pretty much do what you like, as far as I can tell. Um, and I say I mentioned your uh, your problems there, Paul. So what I'll do, I'll um, stick the part two the second round list up now on the chat which consists of g8koe g0 mjw gm0 sca g4 klb ea7 kir oh i've put you on again james but i don't think you're going to do the second round so i'll modify that in a second so let's get your first one first um james and if you could put it round to martin g8koe after you're over uh we will uh, we will still be uh, running to schedule as it were so g0 dqh to take it with the batc thursday evening net g4 fkk standing by <laughs> i've not got as much lighting on this time around and um right. One, two. now um i did have uh, an email from uh, rob vk3 trx that was asking uh, whether the ride and the Portsdown could possibly uh, have SRT put on it. First he asked about the ride, then he said maybe the uh, Portsdown could follow. Um, so uh, I'm putting the question out there. Um, I, I, I'm pretty certain what the remark's going to be, because I think it's only uh, I think it's going to probably cause a problem with um, what's actually used. But um, it would be useful on the ride, I must admit if it was possible um and um yeah the software there uh, martin um if you download it in or well, you just download the image stick it in um and then you just find the ip address and uh, go into it and um what you get is it said oh, i thought i did um well why do you know what i'm oh yeah there it is right let's go to the main center screen that's what it looks like when you get inside it and that's it actually running at the moment um so as you can see um i won't say i've got the uh, the settings as they need to be but um wasn't a lot to do and i'm sending from the um open tuner which as you know um you can alter the settings and uh, stream from it and that's it running the freebie 
um, on a little raspberry pie. But uh, if we can get you interested or even get uh, the KLB man, you know, I'm sure you can find another raspberry pie. Uh, think about it. 16 by 9? I would think. I don't know all the answers. But um, that's it running. I could be wrong. I've only installed it this afternoon and got it working. Um, anyway, that's it going. So um, those interested, and I did put the link up to the uh, the video that explains it and ice cream, etc., etc. And uh, I say again, if uh, with VLC, which I think is VLC three and up, if um, let's go back to me. Anybody knows how to uh, set that up and use that, so I think that can do both. Uh, listen and um, which is is, a, is in listener mode or caller mode. You can put it to. So uh, the obviously the um, open tuners are in caller mode and the um, Raspberry Pi is in listener mode. I'll just stop and uh, refresh my memory. But um, yeah, no, it did um, works. Uh, exceedingly well as far as I can tell um, obviously limitations you can always pay for the professional version if you like <laughs> but that gets very expensive but uh, it's on a Raspberry Pi there's obviously other ways that one can do it so I'm um, open to uh, to help from, uh, from anybody right um, I've lost who's next it's Mike isn't it, it must be Mike so um, I'll find uh, the thing Seven threes tall. So uh, I need to get another thing up there. It says SRT now, don't I? Um, being the all-star. So it's SRT is the, the next one to uh, to badger everybody for. I should get a bad name. Right, test card. And it's uh, over to you then, Mike, from G8KV. Hey, Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Okay, well this might not work. There was a bit of a hiccup just there uh, with uh, the uh, when I tried to look at a camera. Is it working? Oh, it is working. Okay, good. Um, oh, Keith's turned up. I don't know if you are going to come on as well, Keith. But uh, nice to uh, nice to see you've joined. Uh, right, interesting net as uh, as always. And um, yeah, um, the um, the storm. I didn't mention that. the The main impact of the storm was it kept me awake all night. I have a set of wind chimes outside the window, which alerts me to high wind, which is useful, because uh, uh, then you know about it. But uh, they were chiming away quite merrily all night, so uh, it did keep me awake. The only um, impact, though, the, the antennas moved around a bit, but uh, the, uh, the HF vertical is still vertical, which is good, and the two towers are still there. So that was nice. The only thing that happened was uh, one of my weedy bins blew over, but it was empty. That's probably why it blew over. Um, but uh, the wind was quite strong here, but nothing like as bad as other people had it. it and the rain was incessant as well. But again, um, most radio amateurs know to live on hills is a good idea. And uh, in that case, you don't end up uh, with the with the problems you do at the bottom of the uh, the hill. I'm sure we can fit you in, Keith. Um, I'll leave it up to Martin though to decide where on the list. Okay. Anyway, I'm not going to. Uh, Keep uh, keep going very long because uh, I've got a lot of people on the list. It's already nearly nine o'clock, and uh, there's a few more to go. So I uh, hope uh, everyone has a good week. Catch you next time. Um, GM zero SCA G zero MJW. G zero MJW. When the uh, when I finally get the P, here we go. Uh, GM zero SCA. Yeah, thanks, Mike. And uh, yeah, we're all we're all. Uh, let me go 
let me just swap over to that one. That's a bit better, or it will be a bit better when it appears. We all seem to be a bit uh, a bit short on content this evening, which is good. Um, which is good. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm sitting here, Colin. I've I've got every sympathy for you. I had my COVID and flu. Uh, jabs this morning and I felt absolutely fine I was moving some furniture this afternoon and by god I'm sore now <laughs> I, um, I I quickly got up to, to fill the coffee cup and I went oh, oh, oh. so uh, yes it's going to be uh, um, uh, it'll be uh, an easy day tomorrow I think um, anyway um, I, yes oh, they talk about the um, the weather and the storms and so on I need to make sure or I want to recheck my um, receive uh, everything seems okay but um, looking at the um, looking at the screen this evening I'm not sure that um, I've still got um, uh, my my uh, video seems to have frozen so I hope my um, uh, audio is still okay um, I won't be on next week. Uh, I've got a club meeting next week, so I won't be on, but I uh, should be on the... F okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Martin. Um, but I will be on the following week, uh, and then I think I'm... After that, I think I'm away in um, getting some sunshine. So, Michael, I shall be... Uh, I'll be thinking of you. I'm in... Um, uh, where will I be in respect to where you are? I'll be southwest of you. I'll be in uh, Madeira for a few weeks, so looking forward to that. Um, anyway, with that, 73 is all. Have a great uh, evening. Have a great week. And um, well, I'll catch you in two weeks' time. And I'm passing it to Colin, I think. So I shall put up my uh, test card. And uh, G4KLB, GM0SCA, in the net. M0 SCA G4 KLV. I just one small one small switch I forgot to turn on. <laughs> one small switch I forgot to turn on. That's the trouble with the manual sequencer. <laughs> I thought, crikey, hang on, I thought that was working. I don't normally turn the driver switch off. I must have done that inadvertently. <laughs> I'm not a hand firing on all cylinders, it would seem. <laughs> but um but compared to yesterday's fiasco <laughs> not too bad at all um yes well you are at, um from scotland you had m 7.2 d4 um so no problems whatsoever receiving that signal um i don't know how that relates to what you normally see so you may have uh, may have had the dish moved a tiny bit perhaps but uh, that's on um a one point it's actually one point three actually in in theory so uh yeah so uh one of these uh gibbertini ones which uh are not bad dishes but uh, they're, they're quite soft <laughs> quite soft when they when they were delivered the first one got bounced quite badly the second one got bounced a little bit as well oh the bambi looks okay yes 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 i've had a few repairs I, I haven't really started christmas decorations but some christmas decorations have come out the loft and uh and bambi lost a leg <laughs> and a tail um so uh yes yeah, so um anyway it's looking all right now so he he was actually glued on before i got ill but um i'd i'd left him positioned with this in this position <laughs> And my lad sort of picked him up, so I said, "That's hang on, that's that's um, that's um, and the snowman lost a lost a hand, <laughs> so, but they're all done now. I'd glued them before I got ill. Some all star activity <laughs> of sorts. Um, right, okay. I've changed because <laughs> I've changed because that that um, that lab coat has shrunk rather too much." <laughs> I'm sure it was fine the last time I used it, but <laughs> oh dear, that is the trouble with the washing machines, isn't it? They they will the modern washing machines. It's not the only garment that's uh, <laughs> that's fallen by that, I tell you. But um, anyway, there we are. Um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, there was no problem receiving Simon at all. That's that was uh, spot on. No problem at all. 
Um, loads in hand, actually. Loads in hand. Um, right, okay. Have I got anything else to show? Oh, oh if, if Dave's watching, GADDM. We, I showed these on SQ the other day. This this is a design, a, a, a corner antenna that um, Dave designed um, for us some time ago. Um, I've I've got two of them actually, <laughs> as you'd expect. This was um, this was more or less as the design, and then I put some stiffeners on to to just to hold it in there. I did have some little plastic bits in there, but. Uh, um, it was decided that they were not helping, so <laughs> so they were taken out. Um, but this one is actually 20, 23 cents, Dave. Um, I thought it was a 70 one. I remember cutting a piece of material for a 70, but I never made the 70. I've still got the piece of material that I chopped out, what was left over from this one. But this one, it was the um, 23 cents. Um, and, um, and indeed, it does cover the entire band, uh, completely flat along the bottom. It's it's um it's marvellous really, so I'm looking forward to trying that now that I've got various um bits of equipment to to actually measure it. When when these were built, um I didn't have any equipment, and it was taken around to uh, our current repeater keeper at the time to actually um, and he's um <laughs> adjusted a few things, <laughs> um but um but now I can do it myself so um that's going to be very interesting so you know I might sort of pursue that because uh, um it's very compact isn't it I say you this was mounted it's going to be mounted just on there as a uh, as a possible uh, possible one but the corner antenna it is absolutely flat across the band um, and in fact it's more than, more than the whole band actually so um yeah very good and an interesting an interesting thing but uh, they come out the loft, you see. <laughs> there's been there's been various tidyings up, and it, and interesting things I grabbed, and since I have now uh, have more test equipment than I had at the time, which was virtually nothing, um, it's all very interesting to play. Um, anyway, let me just see if there's any any comments on that, and uh, let's have a look. Oh, there we are. Yes, yeah. It's also omnidirectional. Yes, yeah, that's that's the that is the that was the um, important part uh, that it's omnidirectional. Yes, <coughs> it is. Well, it is. It's a corner slot, isn't it? It's a corner slot, but it is omnidirectional. Um, and uh, yeah, there it is. You can see. Uh, well, you can probably see the shape of it, can't you? It's a uh, L. There, I can see it now. But um, yeah, works works very well, I have to say. So very good indeed. Right. Okay. I, I just um, I just sort of meant I I forgot to mention it previously on Ask You. That's why. Okay then. Um, round to Michael again. <coughs> EA seven K I R to take it. G four K L B. I I'm no, I can never get the mouse back quick. <coughs> Colin, you, you, you really are accident prone, and it's not just you, is it? it it's all your Christmas decorations as well. Actually, I, I'm a bit like that. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong, and it always does. It keeps you busy, doesn't it? You fix it, and then it breaks again, and you can't remember how you fixed it the first time. That's how I am. I'm not yet into the antenna side of it, but that is interesting, actually. I've never... I've never seen anything like that before. Um, so, well, as you know, I'm, I'm not into all this stuff, really. I'm more from the other side. But uh, I'll keep that one in mind. But uh, that's, that's, a, that's a long way off, actually. A very long way off from now. But it doesn't stop me thinking about these things. But I certainly won't be buying anything like that. Uh, not in the near future, anyhow. Okay, well, I, I don't have anything to add, actually. Um, as I say, I'm spending all my time writing software, and you don't want to hear about that, because it's utterly... But I could show you loads of code I've written, you know, if you really wanted to see it, but I'm sure you wouldn't. So, 
I'll hand it over to, uh, where are we going, where are we going? We're going over to GU6RFB from EA7KIR. Over to you. In Gurley, I suppose it's not far for the Gremlins to go from uh, James to Keith. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm sorry not to hear that, uh, my, uh, Keith. <laughs> well, let me know while I'm driveling on um, if uh, if you get your audio back, Keith. Oh, and uh, Mike, uh, if you're listening, G0MJW, um, if you'd like to do your piece about Class D amplifiers, then uh, let me know on the chat and I'll bung it around to you. Well, just take it anyway if you want to. Uh, but yeah, Keith, if you get it back, let, let, let us know here. Um, and OK, uh, Martin on SRT. Yeah, well, if I can... Um, it probably won't be tomorrow, but if I can get it going over the weekend on my spare Raspberry Pi, then I'll, I'll let you know and... Um, we can um, we can do some tests. No need, just that they exist and are very good. Yeah, they're, they're good when they're working, uh, Mike, the Class Ds. And, uh, in fact, they, they're good even when they're not working, if you can fix them. But uh, it's, it's the power supply that uh, is the problem with this thing, uh, which, as I say, is buried in a um, box filled with gloop. Uh, I imagine so no one can see what uh, what they've done with the power supply circuitry. Um, Simon, <clears throat> OK, we won't see you or Mike next week, but um, the week after. And then, then you're off to Madeira. I'm, I wonder if you're back here for Christmas. I guess you probably will. That's a, you may not be. Maybe you're uh, spending Christmas in the sun. Um, and uh, Colin... I wonder, can you can you still is it, are the Gibbettini dishes still uh, available? I wonder or obtainable. Um, I always like the look of those. I didn't realise they were uh, soft, as it were. But um, there you go. And um, yes, well, my lab coat, which you can see uh, looming over the top of me there. Uh, my son bought me that a couple of years ago. <laughs> uh, it was quite expensive as well. Uh, for various unknown reasons to me, so I haven't risked uh, <clears throat> inflicting it onto the uh, the washing machine since it was new. It's not terribly dirty because the, the good, great thing about fixing watches is they're not very uh, not very filthy. I did have to clean a clock innards the other day, but I didn't wear my nice lab coat. Not the ones over one meter. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, that's. Probably explains it because they're not cheap, are they, Colin? Colin's just saying the Gibbettini, uh, the Gibbettini dishes aren't available over a meter due to transport uh, damage. Oh, and Simon's in Madeira until mid-January. Well, you'll miss the Christmas BATC net then, uh, uh, Simon. Unless you get SRT going, then we can, uh, or something similar, we can stream you in then. But you'll have to take your bow tie or a Christmas jumper with you, as well as some TV gear. Um, I thought you have a one pound channel master 50p, uh, 99p, you're right I have, but um, I still haven't got round to uh, working out how to uh, adapt the um, the feed for it evidently it needs a great deal of work mechanical work which I can't uh, do at the moment I will be though we'll be able to do it soon um OK, Simon will be watching from Madeira. That's very good. Uh, da, 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 da. No news from Keith about whether he's got his audio back yet. Uh, what else have I got here? Oh, the, um, the corner aerial, uh, Colin. Yes, fascinating things. Um, I, I have used them. And in fact, from what Dave ADM was saying on the, uh, on the chat there, I probably used ones that his company made. <laughs> But I didn't know it at the time, or it's only just occurred to me. Uh, apparently, according to Phil, Madeira Airport, pilots need special tri training to land there. Mountains one side, sea on the other. Well, I'm sure Simon wants to know that, uh, Phil. <laughs> Great YouTube videos. Oh dear. Uh, anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. They, they must have done it before. Um, 
Yeah, and uh, Colin, we, none of us was surprised when, uh, when you said you got two of them. So that's uh, excellent. Um, right, well, still no news. I'm not seeing anything from uh, Keith. Uh, yeah, Mike's just asked a question on the chat. No one answer that if it's, if it's oh, most. That's all right. <laughs> I was going to say no one answers that until, uh, until Simon's got back from Madeira. <laughs> right. Well, I shall close the net, but uh, if Keith is ready to go, then we'll, uh, we'll all stand by for you. And um, <laughs> so I'm just watching Mike, uh, terrifying pilots like me. Um, yes, so I'll close the net. Thanks ever, ever so much for everyone who uh, joined it this evening. Uh, it was uh, interesting and uh, I learned some stuff as always. So I shall look forward to the next one. What was that, Martin? Sorry, I missed that. Martin said something on All Star. Oh, OK, yes. Yes, seven threes, Martin, and uh, to you too. Thank you as well. Had to have bought to Tenerife and Fuerteventura Ventura on a couple of occasions. Uh, I've flown to Glasgow four times in my life, and each time there was at least one go-around. The first time there were four. Terrifying. Anyway, with that, I shall say 73 to everyone and uh, look forward to seeing you all uh, next week. Well, not all of you, but uh, those of you who will be on. And uh, have a great uh, weekend. And hopefully, uh, well, Rob, if you're still watching, if you're going to be on two metres, I'll, I'll keep an eye on the forum. Uh, I'll... I might stick some signals your way. See if we can do that 66 killer symbol test again. Two ways would be nice. 7-3 all. See you again soon. G4FKK now off and clear. Finally. Oh, and with pips. <laughs>